we are um, taking you into um, the spirit realm where you are given the opportunity to meet with your council of elders, your council of elders in the spirit realm, where you can ask any question you've ever wanted to ask about your present lifetime. And wow. you're the one getting the answers and sharing them with me. Right. Well, that, that's the strange thing. Um, your, your mouth starts saying the answers to these questions. It's really, really pretty neat. But, yep. but, so I, who is that for, Peter? Who especially would, would want and benefit from that kind of a session? Those individuals who are interested in their soul's journey, interested in why their life has, uh, has what they've experienced, different things in their life as, as, as they have, perhaps illnesses or um, grief or, or really just you, you want to know more about your, your own soul's purpose. Okay. All right. That's fair. Good. So it could be almost anyone as I think about it right now. It's a four-hour journey rather than a, a two-hour journey, which is what I offer with my hypnotherapy practice. And it's a, an opportunity for you to um, bring to the session a list of questions you'd like answered. And I then take you into a, a deeper level of relaxation, of hypnosis. Typically, it's a 10-minute induction when I work with, with clients in my regular practice. And this is a 45-minute induction. Wow. Which basically is much, much deeper into relaxation, but you're still fully aware of everything that's going on around you. Um, we then start from your present age and go back into the womb. And once you're back in your mother's womb, in your imagination, uh, you can re-experience it. Um, from there to the most recent past life, we spend perhaps 10 minutes reaching, exploring that particular past life or major turning points. Then through the death, how did you die? What was your dying thought? And then you take me with you into the spirit realm. Wow. So, <laughs> that looks like... Pretty amazing. That sounds like fun. I think that would be fun. <laughs> and... When Thomas would let me do it, though. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, well, he's so um, hard on me. All right, so he so, is. so so then you 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 die in the previous lifetime. It's not scary, right? You're just right. you transition, it. and it, it's anyone who has read, read Michael Newton's books, um, uh, Life Between Lives, or I can't remember what they're called now, but he he wrote some books about um, uh, hypnotic regression into the life between lives. Is that what? Um, oh, Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I knew I had there somewhere in my mind. But uh, is that the kind of thing that happens? You you sort of are talking about, I, I as I recall, they, they really had a very, very vivid experience. It just wasn't so much like the afterlife experience we're aware of. It was like a, a more on a, on a more primitive, more a deeper level. People were sparks and that sort of thing as opposed to, you know, all the foliage. What, what, what do people report, though, when, they, when they're there? Do they, what, what, what do they see? Well, they often experience their soul cluster, their home room in the spirit realm. Those souls with whom they're now, right now, in the spirit realm with, if you will. Yes. Um, where part of their energy is there, but most of their energy is here on Earth. So they get a chance to look around and see who is in their life today, who is in their soul cluster. Oh, um, how interesting. And so you can, we can do some work with those souls in their soul cluster today um, to help resolve issues. And then from there, we can go to meet with your council of elders, and I'll ask you, how do we get to the uh, council chamber? Um, what does the council chamber look like? How many council members are there? How are they dressed? And <laughs> we then ask the questions that you wanted to ask of them, plus yeah. any other questions that come up, and lots of questions I ask on your behalf. Oh, how um, fascinating. Profound information comes forth. I would think so. They, would, they'd get an MP3 of that as well, I would assume, that they, they could do. play later. Yeah. And then so, they can, we can go to the, so, the place of body selection where you chose your present body. Why did you choose this body and which bodies did you turn down and why? Oh, isn't that fascinating? 
I, I, I so. think it's, it is fun to peek behind the scaffolding and see more about what's really going on because this is all genuine and true. And when he says imagination, he's not saying you made it up. He's saying you have freed your mind to go deeper into what is true. And it feels like your imagination, but it's actually genuine. Quite amazing. When, when, you, had, when you had everybody assemble that with, uh, from all the lives I had had with my primary guide, and they were all male, I was so fascinated by that. You know, I saw all these men that I had been. Quite, quite astonishing. So, what, what, tell me, you use the term sacred spot or special place. What's all that about? Towards the end of the session, after we've resolved these issues with the help of your higher self and your heart and any other guides from the non-physical realm who have been working with us, I invite you to come up with a special place, a sacred spot in your imagination where you can reconnect with your inner wisdom team whenever you choose. And perhaps it's a place at the beach or at the top of the mountain or in your backyard, but it's somewhere in your own imagination where you feel safe, protected, and at ease. So I ask you to describe that place. And then once you've described it, I ask you to invite first your heart to join us. And how does your heart make itself known to you? You may see it or feel it or sense it or whatever, but just ask your heart to be present because we've already worked with your heart during this session. Then I ask your higher self to join us. How do you experience your higher self now? You may see it or sense it or feel it. And then perhaps others who work with us, including loved ones who passed on or um, guides or whatever, may join us as well if you'd like them to be present. And then um, by being there in that place, um, I invite you to return there in your imagination, perhaps daily or whenever you choose, to reconnect and ask questions of these resources, this inner wisdom team. Plus, I then send you, right after the session, an MP3 of guided visualization that's nine minutes long that I call the Higher Self Shortcut. So it <laughs> just simply guides you there up into the light, having placed you into a relaxed state of trance where you can, in the light, be in your place and uh, meet with your wisdom team, feel the love, feel the support, and ask questions and get answers. Well, that's really great. You, from yeah. within you. Answers yeah. you can trust. And to do this daily or as often as you like to, to really um, uh, make that connection stronger. Because I find then your ego mind starts saying, oh my gosh, it's working. As you're getting answers from within. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So, we, we, you follow up with people too, right? Um, I, yes, I don't I do. remember now the process. Tell, tell us about the follow up. About a week after the session, we get together again, either in person or by phone, and it's uh, an opportunity to talk about the session for perhaps about an hour. And right up front, I'll ask you what shifted, what's changed based on the goals that we set the previous week. Um, I then ask, have you had a chance to listen to the recording? Because I've recorded the session. I've sent it to you as an MP3 you can download onto your computer. And if you choose to listen to it, great, because doing so will take off additional layers of, of stuff that we've been working on. And also, while you think you remember everything, you don't. So this um, right. helps you to remember all that takes place during the session. Then I go through my notes with you to help you um, – process and integrate everything that occurred, answering questions, um, because it's primarily an experience in your imagination. And while you were sharing with me what was happening as it unfolded, not everything that was going on were you sharing with me, so it's an opportunity to really talk it through and gain all the kernels of wisdom, of information that can help you move forward. Um, then at the very end of that, um, I ask, have you been connecting with your higher self? How's it going? And we can practice that if you'd like with that higher self shortcut. And then we revisit the goals that we set for the session. And if we've taken care of everything, terrific. Go off on your own and continue working with your higher self. 
And if not, we can then easily set up another two-hour session because the higher self and heart are eager to report for duty again. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure so. that's that's the part that really astonished me. Just how much they were they 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 loved me. I you don't think of it that way. You think of yourself as probably their worst uh, child or whatever. But they love they love us very much, and they're mm-hmm. they're very. It's very important to them that we be happy and that we be take, getting the most out of our lives in terms of spiritual growth. But now tell me about you, Peter. When we were when I had my session with you, I vividly remember, and I heard it all over again when I listened to the MP3. You were so happy. Right now you sound really happy. I mean, basically, is this your default setting? When you're working with people who might have had a terrible life, are you still this bubbly person you are now? Well, I'm a, I'm a very positive person, as you know oh, firsthand. Insanely so, yes. <laughs> yes. And I find that by being in this way, it, it's, uh, it brings more joy to me, and I'm doing my passion. Here. This is this work I so love and have been doing now for the last 25 years. It is your to be so rewarding for, for myself, and I hope for those who, who choose to work with me. You know, it's astonishing. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more of what you do done before long, because people are finding that talk therapy really often is a very little help. And to know that you can transform people in just a very short period of time or help them really more accurately to say, help them and their own team to transform their lives positively. I mean, it seems to be the most efficient way to do this. So why would anyone do it any other way? And I, I find that I can work with clients not only in person in my office in Santa Barbara, but also by phone so it's, uh, or by Skype. Um, and have clients from around the world who have uh, benefited from from these these sessions. So I feel blessed to be able to offer this to the world. So are you telling me that it's just as good if you do it by phone or by Skype as I was in your office, but you're saying it would work just fine even if I had not been there, if we had just been on Skype? I believe it. Based on feedback I'm getting from clients, absolutely. That's that's why I offer it. Well, we'll have to do this again sometime soon, Peter, (laughs) because I thought it was very enjoyable, so we will do it again soon. So um, how do people get in touch with you typically? Um, It's insightsfromwithin.com or .org? .com. .com, .com, insightsfromwithin.com, and there's a Uh response form that you can fill out there um, on um, on the website. Um, or you can just give me a, a, a call. You'll find the phone number there at the website as well. Happy to respond. I offer a 30-minute free consultation to anyone who's interested in the possibility of working with me, where we can talk briefly about their issues that they're seeking to resolve. And then I'm happy to describe in greater detail how I approach uh, my unique um, approach to hypnotherapy, answering questions about the different aspects of my work, and then if there's a match, great. We set up a time to have a session and start to work together at that particular point. Are there any kinds of problems that you can you think this works especially well for, or is it a lot of them? A lot of them. Anxiety, depression, uh, uh, fear, uh, relationship issues, grief. So you sort of name it, and I'm, I believe that uh, it's an issue that most likely your higher self knows all about. Yes. And is eager to help you resolve so you can step back into your own power. So many of my clients feel stuck. Yes. So what we can often do is, using hypnosis, invite that stuck energy to come forth and talk to us. Um, for example, <laughs> um, yeah. what is it? Well, as, as one example, let's say a uh, client is feeling anxiety. So I may say, okay. As you focus on that anxiety that you've been talking about feeling, right now, where do you feel it most in your body? First thought. Oh, it's in my chest, you say. Okay. As you focus on the anxiety right now in your chest, what color is it? First thought. Oh, it's green or red, whatever you get. As you focus on that green anxiety in your chest, what shape is it? Oh, it's a circle or a square again. Whatever your, your, your first thought is. So can you take your imagination, your mind, and surround that green circle of anxiety in your chest, taking control of it? Because up until now, it's been controlling you. 
Yes. You take control of it. I want you to squeeze it with your mind. And imagine that, that energy can come forth now and speak through you, like you were channeling it. Yes. Announcing its presence with words like, I'm here. And so all of a sudden you find yourself saying, I'm here, pretending you're the anxiety. Because I'd like to talk to the anxiety, to find out more about how it's been affecting you, how long it's been with you, who hired